name is Evan Brock. I'm a professional tuba player in Los Angeles, and today I'm going to show you how to clean a tuba. So first, you have to gather up all your supplies. So first, you'll need a tub, so you can set your tuba in there. Then, you will need a large, long snake, a valve casing brush, and a couple mouthpiece brushes. Okay, so the valve casing brush is long all the way around. Right. Next, you'll also need a large plastic or glass container to put your valves in. Then you'll also need either distilled white vinegar, which I use, or if you don't have that, you can use regular dish soap. Okay. And at the end, you'll also need some slide grease and some valve oil. So the first, the first thing that you have to do is take apart the tuba. So first, if you have a math piece in, go ahead and take that out. Set it to the side. Uh, first, I like to take out the valves. So, each one, pull it out, set that to the side. And then, at the bottom, <clears throat> there's a cap there. See? So the same thing, you just twist it to the left, and it has the spring. So, make sure you don't lose the spring like that. <laughs> Okay, and then set that off to the side. And it's really important when you take out the valves to keep them in order. Otherwise, you won't be able to actually play the tuba after you put it back together. Okay, so then the second valve, right there. So you see one, two, then I'll have three and four. So here, I have all the valves set out with all the springs and the bottom caps, and it's in order. One, two, three, four. Okay, you can do it the opposite way as long as you know which one is which. Okay, so always in order. Now we're going to take out all the slides. Start with that. Obviously that's really gross. And yours will look pretty gross as well. Most likely. Alright, and the same thing here like we did with the valves. You want to try to keep it in order so you remember where each slide needs to go when you put it back together. So it's nice to have a towel or a, a old shirt to put all these things on before you start to actually clean that. Some of these are a little stuck. You don't want to pull very hard. Hopefully they come out fairly easily, but if they are stuck, one thing that you can do is take a shirt or a, a, a rag, put it in between, right, or under the slide, and then gently pull on it until it starts to move. Okay, now all of our slides are up. Now you want to have your tuba in the tub, fill it up with water. You want it to be lukewarm water, which is barely warmed, okay? If it's hot, you, you'll ruin the tuba itself, okay? So make sure that it's lukewarm, not hot, warm. All right, and when you fill it up, you wanna make sure that you cover everything, especially the valves, okay? So it's gonna be really heavy in there with all the water and all the tubes. So it's filled up, you can take your vinegar or dish soap, <clears throat> you'll be generous and put a large amount into the tub, especially the valves, because that's where a lot of gunk likes to stay. Okay, so into the valves, all around, and again, be very generous with the vinegar, because the vinegar will kill off all the germs and hopefully dissolve all the nasty things that are inside of them. If you're using soap instead of the vinegar, you'll do the exact same thing. Be very generous, open it up, put it into the valves, especially, but all around the horn. Okay, again, be very generous with the soap or vinegar, but especially inside the valves. So after you put the vinegar onto the tuba, I like to put all the slides also in the tub, just to make it easy. So I try to keep it in order, make sure the slides fill up with water so they sink, 
And if you have enough vinegar, I put even a little bit more where these slides are to get all that stuff off the outer of the slide. Now after you put all of the slides into the tub with the tuba, you want to make sure that this sits for around 30 or 45 minutes before you do anything with it. So just let the vinegar or the soap work. So now our tuba has been sitting in water with vinegar or soap. Now I'm going to show you how to actually clean out the tuba. So you get your snake. You can use either side. I like to do, use the big side just because the brush is bigger and it gets more stuff. Okay, so we go into the slide. All right, so again, just push that all the way through. And I look for, in the valve, pushing all the way until you see that brush. See that in there? So I push all the way there. And I kind of go back and forth to agitate some of the stuff and get it out, do it a couple times. And you can see all that gunk, all that nastiness. All right, so you're going to do that same exact thing for all of the slides. All right, now for the valves, take a valve casing brush, which is the wide one all the way around. All you do, stick it in. Try to go all the way to the bottom if you can. It's kind of hard because tuba valves are really long. Move it around. Just trying to get all that gunk out. Okay, so that's the top part. You might need to go to the bottom. And do that same thing just to get all the different sides. Alright, so that's how you do the valves. Do that for the same, all four, or three, whichever one you have. Okay, now we go back to the snake. And we take our slides. Alright, this is where I, I like to use the small one, just because it can go around that corner a little bit better. Alright, so, if, it's, if your snake is curved, I put the curve that's going to be like the slide. All right, so I put it in, go around. And if you ever feel that it's a little bit stuck or it's hard, don't push too hard, okay? Because you'll actually get it stuck in there. we will be able to get it out. All right, so just go as far as you can. Get that out, turn around. Exact same thing the other side. Just go as far as you can. Do not force super hard. Okay? Just sneak that out. Put it in the water. See all the gum comes out of it. It's really nasty. So you do the same thing for the rest of the slides. So now I'm going to clean the valves. I put in this container just some vinegar. Um, and I put the bottom caps in there because they were really gross. Um, so you don't, you don't want to get these felts on the valve wet because obviously they're soft and if they get wet, they'll be ruined and they won't work properly. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to take a rag, just put it in the, the vinegar or the soap, whichever one you have, and wipe all the way around and you might get some gross stuff like that. Wiping all the way around, and even the bottom, right here, of the valve. Make sure do it a couple times, get all that gross stuff on the outside. Okay, so after you do that, you're going to take... Uh, I use a mouthpiece brush. You can also use the valve casing brush if you want to. Um, but the mouthpiece brush is a little bit smaller to fit in these holes. So get that wet with the vinegar, go into each, each one, and again, there's a bunch of stuff in there. It's gross. Go into each hole, 
and each side too because it's large. So you gotta get both sides, scrub all the way around, wet it, the other hole, both sides. Last one. Okay, then you take your rag again, wipe off anything that's excess, anything gross, all the way around the valve, including the bottom. All right, you can do the same thing for the valve, uh, the bottom of the valve cap, okay? So I've been letting it sit in there so a bunch of stuff can get out. Use the brush, as much as you can get in there. A bunch of that nastiness out. Then with the rag, just kind of wipe as much as you can off. And just for good measure, if you want to, you can wipe the springs. Try not to bend them too much. Oops, sometimes that happens. All right, just get any, any stuff, because sometimes it you can get some of that nastiness right there on the spring. All right, so we wanna make sure it's all cleaned up. So you're gonna do the same thing for the rest of the valves. So after you clean, you clean everything off with the slides and inside the tuba, uh, let the water go out. Obviously you see all the stuff that was in there. It was really gross. So now I, I'm going to run the water again, have a cup. I'm going to rinse off all the slides, okay? Put them back over here. Let them uh, dry off by air for a second. Then I'm going to rinse out the entire tuba. So all in the valves, through every single slide, through the lead pipe, as much as I can get off. rinse everything off, including the bathtub, because it'd be disgusting. Uh, you're going to have a lot of water in the tuba, so it's going to be really heavy. So we got to get that out. So what we're going to do, we have to turn the tuba, because all the tubes are connected, all the bends. So we're going to turn it towards where the lead pipe is, okay, that direction. See all that water that was in there. Big splash, yeah. So do that just a couple times, make sure all that water is out. Sometimes it likes to get stuck in there. Okay, one more time for good measure. And you're done. So the, last, so the last thing that you need to clean before you put everything together is the mouthpiece. So, just turn on some hot water, and in this case it can be really hot, just to kill all the germs out of it. Alright? 
water everywhere, inside the cup, outside. Get your mouthpiece brush, get that a little wet. A little bit of soap, and this can be dish soap, hand soap, whatever. A little bit there. Turn that off. So let's go in from the bottom here. Go all the way around. You get as much stuff as you can out of here. Alright, now I like to go in from the other side as well. That, go around. A lot of stuff likes to build up right there where that soap is. A lot of build up there. So I go inside the cup and around. I even do the outside with the rim because sometimes that gets nasty too. All the way around with the brush. Alright, rinse that off. And thoroughly rinse out mouthpiece with the hot water to get all the suds out because you don't want to be getting that in your mouth. Okay. And then you just dry it off when you finish. So after you rinse everything off, you want to make sure everything is nice and dry. So the entire tube, I try to get in all the little, little spaces over there, like around the valves, around the valve casing, slides, everywhere. So dry it off, dry off all the slides. Dry up all the valves and everything that goes with it. Okay? So after everything is dry, we're going to put it back together. So uh, we're going to start with the slides. So you need the slide grease. Just open that up. And if you see here, have everything lined up. So this is exactly how it's going to look here. Okay? Just so I don't mess anything up. And I had that exactly when I took it out, if you remember. And same thing with the valves. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so we'll take the first slide, just a little bit of grease, and all around the edge here. Okay, you might want to need uh, another towel so you can wipe that off. So you take one end and slowly go back and forth. I mean that grease all over this side. Okay, just so it moves nice and easy. Do the same thing with the other side. Slowly push it in. Go back and forth. Get it grease everywhere. And if you hear that metal, when you do that, you might need to put a little bit more grease. Not much. Just a tiny bit. And do the same thing. Just work the grease in. Both sides. And then put the entire slide in. And I push it all the way in. Wipe off all that excess that's there. And then put it back to wherever you had it before. Okay, and you're going to do the same thing for all of the other slides. So grease it at the end. Go back and forth each each side, and then put the entire thing in, wipe it off. The last thing that I do is I put in the valves. So uh, make sure it's laid out correctly. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. So I start with the bottom half. Let's go under. Go around until you hear it click. And put it on. Turn. Alright, so that's one. Sometimes they're hard to get, so you have to try a few times. Do the others later. So after you get the bottom cap on, take the spring, just put it down in the hole. Right then you take the valve itself, 
kitchen valve oil. And put the valve. There. Okay, and then, especially after you clean a horn, you want to be very generous with the oil. Okay, so it gets everywhere. Go around a few times, and slide it down. And I usually go around just a few times just to make sure it's working properly. Then you put the guide to the guide part right there you see that that goes in that hole then screw the cap back on the valve works and do the rest of the valves now your tube should be put back together the last thing that I do is make sure it's nice and shiny and clean so I use a rag uh, maybe some glass cleaner, get all the fingerprints and everything off so it looks good and hopefully it will sound good. So if you have any more questions, you can email your band directors at lusdbanddirectors at gmail.com and make sure you like and subscribe to the YouTube channel.